In this video, I will show you two ways to achieve typewriter text effect using Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you stick around for the whole video to check them out. Before we proceed, I would like to share that I have just added a typewriter text effect pack to my store which you can purchase for only $5. This pack includes advanced typewriter with the different styles along with a neon style that looks pretty cool. Moreover, using this title is super easy, you can just drag and drop change the color text and fonts and you can fully customize it this is fantastic deal to grab as creating a typewriter text effect can be a time consuming process because the text will be changing every time so you will need to make it again and again so please check out my pack link in the description and i hope this pack will help you a lot to save you a ton of time let's start with the easiest one create any text then navigate the effect tab and search for the linear wipe drag and drop it onto your text layer in the effects control section you will find the transition completion option at the start of the video create a keyframe and set its value to 100 now move the playhead to where you want the animation to end and change its value back to zero you will notice it's working well but the direction is opposite Change the angle from 90 to minus 90 to correct this. Your animation should be perfect now. For a more authentic touch, you can even add a blinking bar. For creating a blinking bar, create a black video and place it above to your text layer. In the effects control section, uncheck the uniform scale and adjust the width and height to your desirable size. Depending on your size of your text, for example, if you have a text which is larger, so I think you should go with the height of 14 and the width around 0.4 or 0.5. Positioning the bar at the beginning of your text and create a positioning keyframe. Move the playhead to the end of your text and move the bar to the end as well. The effects looks good but there are some positioning errors. To fix this, use your arrow key to move frame by frame and adjust the bar accordingly. This process may take some time but it is worth it. And at the end, add a keyboard typing sound effect. This is how the final result will look. Now if you need more advanced version, this method is for you. We already have a text, now go to the effects control, drop down this eye layer and here we have a source text. Now all we need to do is to create a source keyframe, select your text and delete all the text. Now move 5 frames ahead, you can use your keyboard arrow keys or hold shift and press right arrow key. It will let you move 5 frames. To create an advanced text effect, start by typing the first letter of your text and then move ahead by 6 frames. However, if you want the effect to be faster, you can reduce the gap to 2 or 3 frames. Then type the second letter of your text and again move ahead by 6 frames. Continue this process for every letter in your text. It's a simple process moving ahead 6 frames and typing the next letter every time as you can see the newer version looks better than the previous one to make it even more better you can add an advanced blinking bar creating a blinking bar is similar to the method we used earlier if you missed that part you can go back and check the timestamp once you have created the bar, simply place it at the beginning of your video. Now create a positioning keyframe where your text is started. Move a few frames ahead as our first letter is typed. Rearrange your bar. It's important to remember that select the keyframes and set them to hold so that they don't move as the animation plays. This will ensure that the text remains in the correct position throughout the animation. Now move ahead and as the second letter is typed, just rearrange the bar again and continue this process until last letter. After all the hard work you have put in, it looks good. However, I have a last suggestion to make it more impressive. Let's make the bar blink. To do that, we need to increase the length of text and the bar. I suggest dragging them a bit ahead and increase the length from the back like this. 
Now select your black video, move your playhead at the beginning. Now we have a more empty space, create an opacity keyframe with a zero value, move ahead 10 frames, for that I will hold shift and press the right arrow key twice. So here we have 10 frames, change the opacity value to 100, select both of these keyframes and copy them. Now drag your playhead 10 frames ahead and paste them here. Now move ahead to the last keyframes and paste it again. We have a total of 6 keyframes, once you do that your bar will be start blinking. You can also change all the keyframes to the hold which is something I personally prefer. This will make the animation looks even better. Now copy all of these 6 keyframes and move your playhead to the last keyframe that we have right here. Now paste all of these 6 keyframes right here because we also want to make our bar blinking to the end. You need to paste here twice because we want a 12 keyframes right here and we want to make it more longer than usual so that's way the animation plays twice so after that your bar will be blinked like this here is the final result I know this is time consuming process that's why I created a pack that will save you a lot of time and you can fully customize the text in no time. You can check it out my pack link in the description. So that's all about this video I hope you like it. Thank you so much to all of you who spotted me on coffee and purchased my pack I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one.